Mama Cookie. We're having fun in the kitchen. We're making funnel cake. This is so much fun. I'm excited. I love these kinds of days and I love these recipes. Come on in the kitchen with me, guys. Let's cook. Guys, funnel cake is one of those things that is so fun and easy to make. You will want to make them all the time. And I won't blame you if you actually do. So let me help you get started. Here's your ingredients. You just want some all-purpose flour, some sugar, baking powder, and a little bit of salt. Okay, now those are your dry ingredients. Got them in a bowl. I'm just gonna give them a little whisk. And remember, whisking can replace sifting, right? This makes sure everything is evenly distributed. Okay, that's our dry ingredients. Our wet ingredients, we've got about a cup and a half of milk or so, and I say about a cup and a half or so because you're just gonna see the consistency of the dough as you make it. Here we've got two eggs. I'm gonna give them just a light beating. All right, put that in. And we've also got a little bit of vanilla because we want them to have a nice little sweet taste to them, right? Little pleasantries. <laughs> and let's start with about half of this milk. We'll need more, but we'll start there. A little more than half, okay? Gonna see if we can keep using our whisk. I don't know, this isn't one of my strong whisks, y'all, so I might have to switch to a spoon. Yeah. I'm not using the super strong whisk today. That wasn't a good move, was it? On my part. <laughs> okay, here we go. Switch into a spoon. Just like this. It's like making pancakes. So I just want to give it a good stir and see what the consistency is. Egg is breaking up in there and it may add a little bit more milk to it. The baking powder that's in there is going to help them be light and fluffy, have a nice airiness to them. See how I'm gently getting this milk incorporating it in there? All right. That's about it. One more little drop. And we're going to use some vegetable oil to fry these in. Any neutral oil is fine. You can use vegetable oil, peanut oil, canola oil, any of it is fine. But I'm using vegetable oil today because it just, it just makes sense. All right. Now, here we go. See how nice our batter looks here? Isn't that lovely? It's like pancake mix. All right. Now, here, I've got one of these little kitchen bottle things. I use these for lots of stuff. You can do these funnels any way you want to. I've seen people use a plastic bag, like a Ziploc bag, or a fancy funnel maker. There's so many options. You know what I mean? Well, I'm just gonna use this. So what I'm gonna do is take my little scooper here, okay, my ladle, and I'm just gonna pour it in here so that it goes into my little funnel pourer thingy. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, so I'm calling it a funnel pourer thingy. <laughs> Bottle, my bottle. That's what we'll say, bottle. <laughs> See how that's going? Just, I'm just getting it in here so I can squirt them into the oil and have them come out kind of cute. Now, again, this is not the kind of thing, though, that's uh, one of those perfect-looking things. You know what I'm saying? The beauty of funnel cakes is the fun and the shapes. So give yourself room to play, okay? See that? All right, close enough. So I've taken the top, the lid, and usually the lid goes all the way up so you can squeeze uh, you know, sauces and things out. I cut it so it's a little bit thicker. Now let's test this to see if our batter, if our oil is ready. I'm just gonna do one little squeeze in and see what happens. Not yet. Okay guys, so our oil, let's see if it's ready. Let's try another little test. Let's try a little test here. And, oh yeah, it's ready. Okay. Funnel cakes, the fun is in the design, all right? So don't go too fast. Look at that. <laughs> I'm a kid at heart, okay? So I'm just gonna always find a way to have fun with this stuff. You can make these as big or as small as you want. I kind of went for medium there. Let's see if I can get another one over here. This is also why you wanna have the squirt bottle or the squirt jar so that you have a chance to really just get it out there and make fun shapes out of everything. So get it together, look how it cooks up. Don't go too fast or it'll just burn. <laughs> okay, then we're gonna flip it over lightly in the oil just like that. See how easy that was? And another flip of this one. You can see it turning golden brown. Oh, I'm so excited. You guys, it's like fun day in the love lab. You, 
I mean, it's like being at the carnival again. And then flip these again. This one. Those are little samplers. Ugh. And when they float, they're actually done. <laughs> Just want to make sure they're not doughy in the middle, okay? So I'm going to get a couple more seconds here. And then, oh yes, this looks perfect. So we'll flip her again, make sure she looks good on the bottom. Yep. All right, here we go. So take them, put it right there. See how fast that was too? That didn't take a long time either, did it? should we make this time? <laughs> I don't know. If you think I'm acting like a kid, it's because I am. It's fun. Funnel cakes make you smile. All right, here we go. You ready? And swirl. I'm making this one a little bit bigger. There we go. And another. Swirl. Okay, I made those a little bit bigger. <laughs> okay, while those are cooking up, I'm going to show you here. Just get a little powdered sugar. Right on top. Look at that. Funnel cake. Mommy's gonna be a superstar today. <laughs> and these bigger ones, see how this is so simple. You see what I mean? So simple. And that's also why it's worth the time it takes to get it into the squirt bottle. Because can you imagine trying to do this with a spoon? It will not be successful. I'm not speaking negative, I'm just telling you a fact, okay? <laughs> it will just not work out like you're hoping. Look, and they're pretty. Tastes like summer. <laughs> All, right. All right, I'm gonna get a plate to put these on. My kids are going to be running when they figure out that I made funnel cakes. Don't you forget my kids. My husband's gonna come running when he figures it out. <laughs> All righty, giving these one last little turn to make sure they're where I want them to be. Happy cooking.